Hey everyone, um, welcome to this video. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. Um, some of you who might know me um, already knows this dress, maybe. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, dresses from Black Milk, especially because it's like reversible, so it has different thing on the other side, but that doesn't matter. It's not what I'm here about. Um, I love this dress and I would like one more of them uh, in a different pattern, so that's what I'm gonna make this video. Uh, I have this beautiful uh, holographic looking blue uh, fabric that I want to use, um, but because it's like translucent I'm gonna put a layer of black underneath and uh, yeah, that's the plan. So we'll get right to it. <laughs> Alright, so I started out with finding my pattern paper and uh, my dress, of course, and marking out all the different pieces of the dress. Uh, being careful to like mark where I should fold or what each piece was, so I knew which ones were like the front and back. And yeah, I just did this for all the pieces. Uh, you can see I have the back and the front at like fold, and uh, then I have the side pieces, back side and front side pieces uh, marked as I need two of those each. Um, and then I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting. And then I had this black fabric that I mentioned that's going underneath. I actually didn't notice, but it's like the fabric is in like a tube, um, which is why I can use the folds on both sides here. Uh, I did not know that when I bought it or even like before I pulled it out on the floor, but it worked pretty great. Uh, except for this part where I had to uh, figure something out. <laughs> so I just cut it open to fit the last pieces. And then just snippety snip all the fabrics. I always make sure to like pin down when I have to cut through multiple layers of fabric so it doesn't like shift around too much. Um, and yeah, then I just did the exact same thing with the, my awesome blue holographic fabric here. Um, As you can see, I'm kind of folding the pattern pieces together because I'm kind of planning on using it again at some point, hopefully. <laughs> and with all the pattern pieces cut out in the fabric, I went to sew, but then. Um, my sewing machine died, uh, which is what you can see here, uh, so that sucked. Um, yeah, so uh, I borrowed a sewing machine uh, for this project. Uh, it's a really nice one, actually. I might um, be getting one like this myself at some point, uh, but for now I'm still borrowing it. Um, it's really cool because you can sew like without uh, a foot. You just press the button uh, right there on the front um, and it's pretty nice you can also like uh, adjust the speed and so on on the front there It 
was kind of sad saying goodbye to my old uh, sewing machine, but then again, I've had it for so long. <laughs> and, well, can't really argue with the result. All the pieces are now sewn together um, with the two types of fabric, and then I'm just pinning together where they go together um, <laughs> and just sewing that. Uh, here I had to go a bit slower because some of the like shapes were a bit more difficult to uh, get right um, and needed like a bit more control, but it ended up pretty nice, I think. Um, and then I just need to like finish the edges of it, and then we're kind of done. And this is the result. I uh, <laughs> made a mask in the same fabric too because I, I just thought it would kind of fit, you know. I'm really happy with the result. I love swirling around in it because uh, of the holographic effect. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to make more of this type of video, so I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!